Why is Tesla opening up a new gigafactory in Mexico? Unless you have successfully hid yourself from all the viral tech news coming from Tesla, you would know that Tesla is rapidly deploying new gigafactories on every continent. But this one is special. Why is Tesla opening up a new gigafactory in Mexico? In this video, we'll be covering the special features of this new gigafactory. The new gigafactory that Tesla is planning to build in Mexico will be located in the Mexican state of Nuevo Leon. This news originally came from a Mexican newspaper called Reforma, which was cited in newspapers all over the world. The estimated budget for this new gigafactory will be between 800 million to 1 billion dollars in early cycles of its construction. Compounding all expenses, the new gigafactory will cost as much as 10 billion dollars. This overwhelming budget also has been catered for future expansions. By far, this will be Tesla's most expensive gigafactory. The closest that any gigafactory has come to it is the Berlin Gigafactory, which had a budget of about $5.5 billion. So, what is it that makes the Gigafactory so unique and expensive? Well, to answer that question, let us recall what we already know about Gigafactories. Gigafactories were originally created as alien dreadnoughts, in Musk's own words. What this means is that these huge factories were designed to be completely devoid of human workers in the assembly line. Did Gigafactories succeed in automation? No, not initially, but Musk did not compromise on the idea of automation and as a result he did eventually get the idea working. It was all or nothing for the guy at this point because the company had gotten a very warm reception for its Model 3 cars, but generating production to meet the increasing demand was getting into too many technical issues. His project ultimately succeeded, which saw Gigafactories mushrooming in growth all over the planet. The design philosophy which Elon Musk went for was to go for prefabricated construction materials and vertical integration. Prefabricated construction materials means that the materials were already constructed and were assembled later on. It was in line with Musk's vision of elevating the machine, which makes the factory. The Gigafactories were designed to manufacture batteries and other Tesla car parts. The vertical integration meant that all products were produced under the same roof. The design elements were meticulously worked into the Gigafactories. Automation was never accomplished without issues. There was a time when Musk had to hire a large number of employees so that the production would at least reach the projected number. The decision was made because automation was running into too many technical flaws and there were changes made time and again in product schematics and production flow. But all of these issues were resolved thanks to good old perseverance and steely determination of Elon Musk. The new project will be situated just outside the city of Monterey and at the initial stage will be used used for the production of car components for current models. To discuss the idea further, Elon Musk met with Governor of Nuevo Leon, Samuel Garcia, and the U.S. Ambassador to Mexico, Ken Salazar, in October. Musk had toured three different locations in Mexico before settling in Nuevo Leon, and the choice of location for Nuevo Leon is very strategic since the northern Mexico state shares a small border with Texas, which is, yet again, home to one of Tesla's biggest gigafactories the Austin, Texas factory, which was built with a budget of about $1.1 billion. The budget has been increased to increase the production of Model Y electric SUVs. This is the same facility which will initiate production for the much-celebrated new Cybertruck. These semis have been planned to roll out by the end of 2023, which will be an ambitious target for Tesla to maintain. The project will be Tesla's sixth gigafactory following California, Nevada, New York, Shanghai, and Berlin. The installation for gigafactories did not go without a hitch in all of these locations. Particularly in Berlin, where the construction of the gigafactory was critiqued by environmental activists. As a result, the construction schedule went behind but was completed by the end of 2021. If the decision is finalized to build a gigafactory in Mexico, then for the first time Tesla would build an entire car in Mexico. Something which other companies like GM and Ford were doing with their Blazer EV and Mustang Mach-E. 
So why is the Gigafactory in Mexico the most ambiguous of Gigafactories in budget? Well, one of the reasons we talked about before is that this new Gigafactory will, for the first time, be able to assemble a whole car in Mexico if Musk sticks with his decision. Another important reason of why this Gigafactory is important is because this new plant will be able to mass-produce the newer variant of Tesla's more affordable electric cars. This new and cheaper Tesla EV has been teased by Elon Musk for many years. He's even said that the goal of starting up Tesla was to finally be able to manufacture an EV which is affordable so that everyone is able to purchase it. Mass production of an EV would be a huge contribution towards cutting down on the carbon footprint caused by traffic pollution and consequent burning of fossil fuels. But this new Gigafactory has been said to achieve these goals for the first time. Musk is close to achieving his vision of manufacturing a truly affordable EV. Do you think that this new Gigafactory in Mexico will produce the cheapest ever EV to come out of Tesla, or will it be used for something else? Feel free to comment in the section below. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, then please do not forget to leave a like, consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it, and as always, thank you for watching the video, and we'll see you in the next one.